Hey guys, Harry here. Just going to do a little video on on trowels and um, sort of what trowel I used to use years ago and why I've gone uh, full circle all the way back to a, probably one of the smallest trowels that they do at the moment. Um, that's non-custom that you can buy. So um, we'll go back now, probably five, six years, maybe seven years. This is the trowel I was using. It's a 12 inch, uh, just a normal Philadelphia by Marshalltown. This was the trowel I'd used. This was my first ever Marshalltown I think I bought myself. Um, or maybe the second, I think I had an 11 inch before this. Um, but this was my last trowel I sort of I put down when I uh, sort of moved away from the big trowels. I didn't realize why I had a big trowel, I didn't realize why, you know, I just saw everyone else had a big trowel and I thought, hmm, I suppose the bigger the better, eh? Uh, but it's not always the case. Um, this feels massive and I can see why guys in the footings and they like it. I can feel, I, can, I know why they like it because it's heavy, you can smack the block, you can smack a brick, you know, a little swing and it'll chop a brick in half. You know, it's nice to have some heavy in your hand and swing it about. But, and it holds a lot of mortar, you know, you can lay a lot on with a big trowel, but not always where you want it, you know. Um, find it more effective with a smaller trowel. I used this one. This was trapped behind the profiles for probably up until about 2000, probably up until about 2017, I had this wedged behind the profile and I was using about, I think I was using an old 11 inch. I was using something a bit more like this. But more worn, like a worn version of this. This is my 11 that I bought not long ago. It's not been cleaned very well. We were using it to substitute as a shovel if we just needed an odd bucket or two. Uh, the, the old man was using this. Um, good for scraping the backs of walls off. I always like a big trowel in my box uh, just for scraping stuff, you know, a bit of, you know, making good, cleaning up buckets and stuff. A big trowel's always handy to have. Good for scraping off other trowels as well. Um, but you can see this, the difference, the only difference with the 12 is you can see it was originally wider. They're just wider than the 11, so it's the same pattern. Um, I'm not quite sure on the lift of these trowels, if I can put them side by side, if you can see. Uh, the lift's very similar, very similar lift on the trowels uh, from what I can see. Very similar, you know, traditionally. As you, the only thing that happens with these trowels over years is the handle thin, it, it gets a bit thinner as you, you know, as you hold on to it, which is, I like personally, I like the feel of this, the thinness of this, you can see it's been used, and you can see how many times, it's, it's slightly bent as well, if you can see, you can yeah, you can slightly see it's a bit curved, and it gets this sort of black patina on it over years, and that's why you can tell a trowel's been used excessively for years and years. And I've cleaned this up a few times. Um, but it's still a good trowel, you know, the Marshall 12 inches are good trowels. Um, you know, if you probably, if you exclusively do, I don't know, if you just lay probably every box all day, maybe an, maybe an 11, maybe, but even then, you know, there's a lot more better application you can use with other trowels. So, I use this for probably four or five years, uh, probably like three, yeah, at least four years I think, and then I finally moved to an 11, I, use, I used a Spear and Jackson 11, but I'm just showing you this one as reference. Um, I started using a Spear and Jackson 11 inch about three years ago, um, about, two, yeah, about two years ago, yeah, three years ago now, and uh, going from going from this, to a, a Spear and Jackson 11 where the steel's a lot lighter. Felt like ma I felt a massive difference. I felt like I could lay bricks quicker, even though it was, you know, only a, a slightly smaller trowel. Instantly, I could I felt I was a bit quicker. My speed probably picked up, you know, you know, 50% from just going from a 12 to an 11. Um, obviously, a bit of experience, confidence, and stuff goes with that. So you know, I can't put it all down to a trowel. And then I finally went to the um, Tizak. So I've had a wooden handle version that I didn't really like because the handle's quite stubby. It's like you, you feel like you're holding it a bit up here. Uh, and then I finally got this plastic one. I used the 
wooden one for about eight months and then six month-ish and then I've used this for probably six months as well um, maybe a little bit less but I definitely recommend if you're gonna go for and you're gonna downsize your trowel before buying anything like a rose or even another Marshall trowel try a Tizak you know even the this is a wide London 10 inch so I went from 11 to a 10 and then again I saw a massive difference again you know I was getting a bit more done every time every time I moved my trowel size my, heart, my hands were moving a bit quicker you know I like to you know do it to something as similar as when you're using a heavy heavy gloves in boxing like a 15 16 ounce glove and then you go back to a, a, a 10 or a 11 ounce glove you can see you can feel the difference your hands move a lot quicker or going from a UFC glove to a you know, an heavy bag, you know, 15 ounce or whatever glove. You know, if you've ever done a bit of boxing training, stuff like that, you'll, your hands move a lot quicker. And this is what I, I, um, I like to say about trowels. The smaller your trowel, you know, the quicker you can move your hands. And I find you have more control over what you want to pick up with it. Whereas big blade, you got to pick up a load of mortar, you know, lay a spread. Um, but then... You might want to. You might not need another massive spread. You might only need a little bit. So you're going back, and the weight, the weight accumulation, you're moving your hand a lot slower. Um, and I find you can still cover the same di distance with your spread, doing two goes to the board, moving your, moving your hand a lot quicker than you do, uh, you know, with like one and a half, say on a bigger trowel. And then I use this one for. No, six since I was been on YouTube, I've been using this one. The channel's been going about eight months, I think now. And you know, there again, you know, the speed is you know probably ten inches is sort of where you want to be. Um, you don't really want to be going any lower. You can probably use a nine if you're doing if you've got the right setup for pick and dip. But I mix my I've mixed my time between a Philadelphia and a London, so. This is a Marshall 10 inch London and this is a you know Tizak, sorry 10 inch Philly, 10 inch London, Tizak. So these two trials are both good. The only difference between them is the lifts. As you can see, let me spin them around. As you can see, the lift on the Marshall is a lot higher. You know, it's not massively higher, but it's more of an angle. As you can see, I've got sort of the trials at the same level. And uh, you can see the Marshall lift a lot higher. I did like this at first. I did find it quite, you know, nice. But then going back in between them, definitely find the this lift a lot easier to lay with consistently rather than this one. You know, you're just getting a little bit more control over your mortar, really. What you want to... is basically how you'll lay the brick a bit quicker. You know, especially with... You know, with a pick and dip, if you're getting your spread perfect every time, um, you know, that brick's going to go down well every time. Just like in traditional, when you learn at college, they'll say, you know, make sure your spread's, you know, your spread's right. It'll make it easier to lay your brick. And I, f I find this more more important on block work, more, uh, funny enough, because with a lot of these thermalite blocks we're using these days, you know, the mortar doesn't stay for very long on those blocks without going hard. And you want to just put your spread down correctly the first time, tap your block down, you know, a couple of taps and it's there. Whereas, you know, a big a big trowel, watched apprentices, uh, I had an uh, apprentice with me, an improver, uh, a few months ago, and he had a trowel about this size, probably 12 inch. And every time he put a spread down, it's too much. Too much straight away. Every spread he picked up, every time he picked a spread up, too much gobbo and, and the reason why is because it the size of the trowel encouraged him to pick too much up whereas the small trowel you don't have that luxury you can't pick too much a lot of the time a lot of the time you pick up uh, with a 10 inch uh, and a 9 inch which I use now especially you pick up only just enough for a 1 440 block um, you know you can still pick too much if you start you know layering it on but you know, uh, that is one of the things I find so good about a smaller trowel is when you're learning, even with something like a nine, probably a nine's even better, 
you can get used to just picking just enough up that you need and that's why pick and dip is one of those things where it takes a lot long time to master because you just need to pick up enough you don't need to pick up too much you don't need to pick up too little you just need to pick up enough and it's finding that rhythm every time so I've been using this trial now probably three weeks and what I can say about the narrow London as opposed to a wide is you don't pick quite as much up, right? But you can see the length difference isn't there's not that much there. It's just your it's just around because of this goes to a narrow point here, and this is a wider point, you can see the difference in sort of the surface area, I bet isn't that much different. You know what I mean? So there's a bit there's a bit there. You can see I'll layer them over each other, there's a bit. But I don't find myself spreading any slower with a long spread or anything with a nine. And it works through the mortar a lot easier. I think I've said in a few videos, sometimes with ready mix it comes stiff, sometimes it comes wet. And uh, we just stiffen it up with some thermal light box, but you can easily work through some stiff gobbo, knock it up a bit easier, move it about on the boards. Um, I find the, the shape, the shape the mortar comes off the troweling with this longer, the sort of longer, sort of Philadelphia shape. Let me use this as an example. You know the longer sort of shape, sort of the there's more real estate on the front of the trowel, you know, towards the peak, towards the tip. I find the spread comes off a lot easier, and it just comes off how you want it a bit, you know. And uh, these are just little things, really. They're not, you know, they're not deal breakers when it comes to brick laying. But when you're trying to optimize how you lay every day, and you're trying to make everything a little bit easier, this trowel's made a big difference. Um, I could probably see myself getting a wide, nine inch wide as well, just to mess around with that. But these W Rose trials, my favorite um, part of this trial is this bit, this little neck, little neck. There's nothing there from where your thumb is to stop you, you know, there's nothing in your way, no plastic, nothing easy to clean. Uh, obviously I've not kept this one the cleanest, but it's, you know, it's obviously clean enough. And um, you know, and I like that they separate the handle from the trowel. Whereas you can see, Marshall Towns have this bit of plastic on the back. Uh, with the same, set more so probably with these uh, ties axes. Here, as you can see, it gets clattered up with gobbo, which I don't like. That is probably why I prefer the wooden handled necks that come on a lot of these trowels because of this. But I think W Rose are the only trowel other than I think. Um, Bond do it as well with this sort of this sort of style. A very similar Bond and W rows. The trials are very similar. I do like the I do like them, but I definitely recommend a W rows to anyone who's had a mess about with the other trials and and you want to pay a bit more. You know they're still strong. Uh, the only thing you don't get with it, with a small trial is you do a big one. You don't have that cutting power with it. You can't whack a brick as easy. Um, but you still clip a brick, you know, if you want to do a bit of clip brick action. A little tip I use a lot of the time to keep my perps looking the same. If there's ever, if I've ever travelled a bit, a couple of clip bricks, you know, it just um, just makes that the finished product look a bit easier, a bit better. Next course, you know, make sure your joints are back, tighten up a little bit, you know. So that's it. So as time's gone on, I've gone from laying more bricks with this trowel uh, then a 12 and this is 9 and this is the next 12 so you can see the difference in size you don't need a big trowel um, this this is even traditional and uh, pick and dip I don't see really any points even if you don't like doing pick and dip still get a small one because it's easier and I probably recommend a small one for anyone who's even knocking their own gear up and a mixer because mixer gear goes a bit dead um, from when we were I was knocking up some of my own gear for a little job I did for my dad um, a few months ago and that we were, I was using a, a trowel smaller than this my my, seven, my uh, 8 inch pick and dip trowel I was using that because the more, the gear it was the sand, the sand was a bit dead I think the cement was a bit old and I could move my trowel through it a lot easier with something like this than a big trowel so 
I don't really see any you in any use in using a big trowel now. Um, uh, I just think a lot of the time it's habit and it's breaking your mental connecting the size of your trowel to what you'll get done. A lot of people think, oh, I can't, you know, I'm used to picking up too much and now I can't pick up enough and they feel like they're going backwards. In effect, they were probably, you know, you, you've got to get around the mentality of spread for one lay one, you know, even on, um, or even if you're doing concrete, put a long spread out, but get used to just, you know, if you guys watch the spec mix, you'll see guys go, boom, straight in, straight in, one, two, three, four, they don't mess around going, do, do, do. Up, oh, big, big lift it up, uh, whew, you know, just in, out, in, out, onto your spread, onto your block, onto your brick for a long spread, in, out, you know, no messing about, not because you find a lot of the time when you've got a big child, you're like, oh, and you're like, it's a lot of weight on it, and then even when you're getting a bit higher up, you're using your hand to try and lay it, and it, it becomes um, a laborious motion when, if you get used to using the small one, your hand feels so much, your, your shoulder feels so much quicker, everything everything moves quicker. And the one thing that an old bricklayer taught me years ago is hand speed. Um, when it comes to, when it comes to laying bricks, when you're an apprentice or anything, when you get, when you get to the, when you get to a stage where you're laying you know, proficiently to align when you're basically, um, you know, you can lay a course of bricks to align without having to move them. Joints being plumb, perch being plumb, you know, no tipping bricks. First thing he said um, was trial speed. You know, look at your hand speed. What's your hand speed? Hand speed. He kept saying hand speed. And that is what, you know, when you're picking up, say, I'm going to use this, pretend this is a brick, when you're picking up a brick, hand speed, perp. We were doing traditional then, and uh, or we, you know, hand speed traditional, back of the brick, down, hand speed, hand speed, and this is why, over time, you can take away those extra when you when you're learning, you'll be doing, you'll be tap tap tap, scrape scrape scrape, next one, you can take away those extra movements with a small trial, but still maintain a fast hand speed, and. That's if any fast bricklayer you watch has fast hands, um, but what I try to you know promote on this channel is you know reducing those excess movements and um, while maintaining fast hands, but you know if you can cut out you know a few of them scrapes per brick or when you get to the board if you can cut out the messing about where you start pissing about with it rolling it. Just go straight in, out, straight in, out. And then if it even takes you getting your hob carrier to knock your muck up on the board with something like this, so probably, you know, a 12 inch trowel knocks up mortar pretty good. You know, even if, even, I tell you what, what I used to, what I do now, is I grab it with two hands and I'll knock the, the mortar up myself with a big trowel if I have to, you know what I mean? It's probably easier to use two hands on a 11 or a 12 inch knocking gear up than it is trying to do it with one hand knackiest trowel hand so this is that's one thing i like to do as well so it's just a little bit of a um bit of a you know methodology behind my trowels why you you know why i use what i use so these are all the trowels i've got now get them all on camera there we go all the trowels I only use this one. So, if you guys like this bit of uh, sort of a history lesson on my, what trials I've been using and why I use them now, that's it. Um, so, here's the video. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Um, you know, some, some fond memories using, using this big bastard. I've laid a lot of different types of, different types of work with this. Um, but, this one is being christened on the square boxes for a while, so starting a fresh pot tomorrow anyway. I'm going to do what work first because it's give rain. And uh, still be using this. I find this one a lot easier to lay blocks with actually than, than this one. I laid about 250 heavies on Friday with this in 
three and a half hour. So you can still lay 200, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, sorry, four and a half hour. I laid 250 heavies with this in four and a half hour. So you can still lay a lot of blocks with a, a nine inch, you know, so. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've had a good weekend and I'll see you in the next one.